Hey everyone, and welcome back to Woo Woo Wednesday, where I share my intuitive insight and weekly wisdom with you. I'm Brittany Carmichael, the founder of Shine School and the Shine from the Inside Oracle, and I empower women to break free of fear and go after their wild and crazy dreams. And today, I'm actually going to be do, doing an unboxing of the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell and Danielle Noel. This Oracle was just released this week. It showed up in the mail, and I am excited to pull a card from here. I have used it one time, so I did it this morning for my own personal self because I couldn't help myself. I wanted to dive in and jump in and see what kind of messages were in here but other than that I have not looked at it I haven't really gone through it because I wanted to save it for today since I knew Wednesday was coming so how many of you have already ordered the starseed Oracle are you guys like me and like have a whole drawer full of Oracle cards if so like get ready because mine's about to come out and actually talk to the printer so I'm really excited to share a quick announcement about the shine from the inside Oracle say hello if you're tuning in live where are you watching from how's your new year getting started off like what is going down sister okay so here's some updates on the shine from the inside Oracle we are so close to being done with printing it like it's been in print and production for a little while and I haven't known a date or anything which I still don't but I asked her you know where are we at what are we looking at and she said we're putting the last piece of foil on the box so we are so close we've done she's printed the cards they have printed the guidebook they have printed the box they've put the holograms on the box and they have now they're now um, putting the little rose gold foil where it says shine on the box so Woohoo! We are so, so, so close. I'm so excited to bring that to you guys. Today I filmed some videos for all the goodies and the free resources that you'll get once you buy the deck to help you along your self-discovery journey because let's face it, self-love does not happen overnight. So I wanted to give you guys more tools on how you can reclaim your life and set better boundaries for your self-care rituals so that you can make this a consistent habit. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Hey Joyce, hey Brandy, hey Haley, Amanda, um, live from New York, uh, North Carolina, New York. I'm sure there's someone from New York. So exciting to be here with you guys. Let me just um, scoot a little Facebook over real quick so I can read the comments. Um, hey Lorraine, it's so nice to see you guys. What is your word for 2020? Like, what is your biggest project and focus? Like, because we can only do one thing at a time. I say that and I'm launching my Shine from the Inside Oracle and my Goddess Retreat next uh, next month in February. I didn't plan for it to happen that way. I thought the Oracle would be uh, released last year, but um, it didn't happen that way. So I'm going with the flow and my Oracle is coming soon and my Goddess Retreat is happening on February 20th. We have one spot left and so I, I say you can only focus on one thing at a time, which is true. If you have multiple projects, it just requires longer time time to get it done because you have to split your time up and allocate it like that. And if you're focused on one project or one thing, or one goal or one belief that you're trying to get rid of, then it's so much easier to just finish it to completion with full focus and attention and then move on to the next one. So I recommend if you have a long list of to-dos and goals and excitements and plans that you have been writing down for 2020, then pick the one that's most important. Pick the one that makes you most excited, lights you up, that you have the most passion and drive for. And also, let's sprinkle a little logic in there, which we don't normally do here uh, on Woo Woo Wednesday. But logically, let's think about like what is the foundation? Like if I did this one project first, it would set a tone or a foundation for the other projects projects and goals that I have for myself and if you do like this project before this one it just wouldn't make sense so like use a little bit of logic in there to set up and, and uh, organize the different projects that you want to work on so what is your number one focus and project for 2020 I'd love to know um, consistency is your word consistency well we're we're consistent with consistency so we're doing good uh, brave oh, I love it I love it I love it I keep feeling like my word is flow because last year I you know I thought we would launch in the spring then the summer and then the fall and then the winter and now in January and maybe in February so it's like okay like I did not realize Chris even pointed out he goes you know if we would have just made the t-shirt company like we talked about it would be done in like two seconds and people buy t-shirts like 
the t-shirt would be more expensive than the Oracle. People buy them all the freaking time, don't even think twice about it. And that just shows me that I'm not in it for the money, that I'm in it for the passion, that I'm in it for the inspiration and the soul calling. I didn't like just wake up one day and actually that's what happened. You just wake up one day and your soul is like, I have to do this and you can't get it out of your mind. You can't stop thinking about it. And then all the pieces start coming together because you have the courage to follow it. That's what happened for everything in my life, but specifically this Oracle deck. So I think it's really important for you to recognize like, what is the thing that you can't stop thinking about? Because that's most likely the thing your soul is wanting you to do. Um, launch a goddess purse line. I like that. That's awesome. Um, uh, Hey, woo woo Wednesday. Okay. You guys ready? I, like I said, I'm going to be pulling from the, um, star seed Oracle that Rebecca Campbell just launched. What's cool about this. I've never seen before is this neat little box. Um, she recommends that you turn it upside down and you place your cards like as a little placeholder. Um, personally, not for me. So I will show you what it looks like and then set it off to the side. So this is the top little piece. And on the inside, it says, your heart is a portal. So cute. Okay, so we'll set this off to the side. And then you've got your, ooh, hello with the brightness. You've got your cards and your guidebook in here. Um, and then you slide them out. It also says the same thing. You are a portal in the bottom. Let's see if we can get that in there. Okay, so the back of the cards look like this. I'm going to, hold on, whoa, hold on. <laughs> the lighting is a little tricky here um, with the glare and that's been the same problem I've had with um, my own Oracle deck is that sometimes the lighting is just really hard to capture how hold on there we go how magical this really is there we go okay cool there's the back of the cards front of the cards um, it, it reminds me very similar of her last deck. Her This one has the purple bottoms down here, which is nice. Um, it looks a little bit more soft and feminine. And then Danielle Noel is, um, you know when you see her artwork. Like, you just know it's her. So she's done such a cool job in continuing to express her creativity. All right. Again, I've only pulled one card for my own personal reading. Here's the guidebook. And so I'm excited to dive in with you. So one thing that is different about my guidebook and like some of these Hay House guidebooks is that when I hold my guidebook in this one, it is noticeably heavier. I chose a lot thicker paper um, with also even like a gloss to it because it's more like a book than it is um, just than you know just some words on paper. It's a piece of art and every page has creative sparkle magic shared and quotes and, and things like that. It's in full color every single page. So these aren't in color. And um, I would say that's the biggest difference. Mine is about 156 pages. This one is 137. So I just have poured extra resources. I thought the guidebook really um, in most decks is underutilized and um, isn't done enough justice. So I really wanted to bring the guidebook to life because honestly, that's where the magic is. So many people can pick a card and, and say, oh, fall into my arms, surrender. But like, what does that really mean? Like we need to know even deeper, not just what it means, but how to implement it, how to use it in your life. And what are some resources and techniques that we can use to make that happen? And throughout my guidebook, you'll find tons of different techniques and resources on how to reclaim um, your power, your energy, your boundaries, setting up your schedule. There's so many different techniques to help you. Um, hold on. Who's calling me <laughs> to help you? <laughs> uh, that is the beauty of live. Hey, Tony. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Michelle. Oh my gosh. So excited. Hey, Anne. All right. I'm going to shuffle. And I did do a little bit of clearing. One of the techniques I teach is just to hold it in your non-dominant hand and knock on it a few times to clear out the energy. I'll do a proper saging uh, later today, but I thought this would be the perfect time to share with you guys this awesome new deck. It came yesterday, and like I said, I don't know too much about it because I wanted to wait until today to, to see what messages come up. So I am just as surprised and excited and eager as you. So does anyone have this deck yet, and are you guys interested in getting it? All right. Oh, 
so exciting. All right, did my sh I did quite a bit of shuffling. I'm trying to make the um, cards like a little less stiff so they're really um, flexible and bendy and flowy and all of that. I don't know, did I tell you my word? It was flow. Like flow is the word for 2020 for me because like I said, things did not happen in my timeline last year. And even though it wasn't happening in a timeline that I would like, I never projected or felt disappointed because I trust the process. And um, I really feel like that was a, a beautiful year of flowing. So I want to be very mindful and intentional of anytime I find myself resisting or um, not feeling grateful for anything, even when it's a challenge, like really just trusting in all the things. So I'm excited to see all the flowing that, my, <laughs> that 2020 will bring. Um, hey, hey, mine arrives next week. How exciting. I love that flow. Yes. And if you guys want to flow with me on Saturday, I'll be hosting my full moon goddess gathering here in Frisco, Texas at 7 p.m. at Karmic Ground. So if you're local, please join us. It's a heart opening sisterhood, magical uh, meditation experience for you to really get clear with what you need in your life, what's holding you back, and then plug into a supportive community and, and meet a new like minded sisterhood that will help support you on your dreams. <clears throat> I love the word flow. I know, right? It's like, ooh, hello. Okay, two cards came up when, when we talked about flow. I'm gonna set these off to the side. I'm gonna take a drink of water before we dive in. And if you know a soul sister who would love this message, please tag them in the comments. Let them know we're about to dive into this reading. <clears throat> okay, okay, let's do this. You guys excited? Let me know you're ready. Just type ready in the chat so I know you're here, you're excited, can't wait for um, the full moon. I know, so excited. I just um, wrapped up the email, the full moon forecast blog. It's live. Don't tell anyone, but I'm telling you now, it is live on the website, brittanycarmichael.com slash blog. Um, but I just wrapped up the email as well. So if you're not on my newsletter or you don't get my emails, you should definitely go to brittanycarmichael.com slash join so you can join the Shine Tribe Sisterhood and sign up for my love notes every week. I deliver either weekly wisdom or moon readings um, and tools for self-discovery, self-love, and empowerment. Uh, and you know, this year I've been really filled to call, uh, feel, I feel called to share a lot more about business and um, my success at, in my hair salon. So I am finally putting, after the Shine From The Inside Oracle is out and launched, I am wrapping up that project and I am starting my course on um, <clears throat> teaching those that are hairdressers how to create a six-figure sweet life for themselves so that you can go into business for yourself, you can um, stop getting paid 40% commission and get paid what you're worth and how to create um, an excellent experience, five-star luxury experience for your clients behind the chair. So I'm just so excited to share all of the knowledge. I just celebrated 12 years behind the chair yesterday um, and it's really crazy to see how my journey behind the chair has been such a, a, an amazing evolving experience that has led me now to coach and empower women and to create an oracle deck. When I was learning highlights and balayage, I did not think I'd be learning how to create a tarot and oracle deck, but it's so cool to see how our journeys unfold and when we have the courage to follow our curiosity and to explore new things, then um, it's really, really beautiful to see how things connect, even though they don't make sense at the moment. Because for me, my I got bored in the hair salon in 2013. I created a photography business for boudoir. Then after that, I got bored again created an online co or a coaching business because so many of my clients were coming back, um, leaving their shitty relationships, getting paid more because they asked for more uh, for a raise, and they were changing their life. They were losing weight. They were less stressed, and I'm like, wait, you're like listening to what I'm saying to you while I'm doing your hair and actually things are changing and I didn't even realize I was coaching from behind the chair. And so when I had a client ask me, hey, do will you coach me and like not do my hair? I was like, yeah, I can get paid to talk to you and share advice and love you and support you and bust through your fears with you. And I don't have to stand on my feet all day and do highlights. Um, yes. So that kickstarted my coaching career and it has led me to this and it's just so crazy to see now I look back and everything I was doing along the way 
the core essence behind it all was women empowerment. So you'll find that all of your different businesses and curiosities and, and talents and skills that you're developing all come together and there's a woven thread between all of it that is your core essence. And for me, that was empowerment because I needed that. I was an angry, hurt, depressed, like fat little kid that needed a cheerleader. I was not my own cheerleader and now today I am and I know how painful it is to always beat yourself up and never feel good enough and so I wanted to help you guys break through and break free of that and I realized it was a prevalent thing working behind the chair and uh, listening to women talk about how they think and feel about themselves and it's brutal. Uh, okay, let me check in with your comments. You guys are so awesome. Okay, uh, yes, yeah, she, she has a salon 12 years yesterday. Okay, what did you guys say? Do you still do hair? Yes, I still do hair. I am in the salon three days a week, Thursday through Saturday um, because I still love it. My clients would die if I left. I mean, I've been some of them have been with me the whole time, all 12 years, and um, I, I'm, I still have a passion for it, and I'm still in the position to be able to do it. I feel though I I've known for a long time that I won't do it forever. Um, the chemicals, the the physical labor, you know bougie we say that there's like people building buildings in the middle of the night I get it but it is really hard on our back and it's really hard on our energy like we <laughs> there's a lot of connection and if you don't know how to manage your energy and handle that it can be very draining and cause physical problems um, I literally watched my mom have a stroke because she's a hairdresser too. She's giving too much of herself. So um, I have a feeling that with the expansion of the Oracle deck and Shine School's really taking off and uh, the retreat and all these different opportunities that I've been dreaming of are unfolding, I kind of have a feeling that I'm not going to be behind the chair um, for very much longer. Oh my God, my clients are going to die when they see this. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I love, love, love it. My mom was a hairdresser. I can't, it's like in my blood. She begged me to go to college and not to do hair, but I, it was in my soul. I've always followed my soul's calling, even despite <laughs> what my mom thinks. So I hope you guys have the courage to do that too. Okay, I'm gonna catch up. You guys are so amazing. Um, yes, I'm trying to learn how to not absorb other people's energy. Yeah, in my apron, in my salon, I have some black tourmaline. And anytime someone's like letting off the vibes, I hold on to that crystal and I set the intention that all that energy is going into the crystal and not into my fat cells because you guys know I held on, empathically held on to everyone else's emotions and it caused me to be overweight. Um, okay, my VA business has led me to starting my my own coaching program to helping others find their power again. Absolutely. I love that so much. I know a few hairstylists that that course would be great for. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Yeah. I I um, was invited to teach at Hair Love Retreat this year and it feels like my I was like pushing away hair like no, I'm a self-love coach. I'm empowering women like psychic abilities, but what I found is that there's so many woo-woo hairdressers that need to know this information that love this information so I'm kind of pulling a Libra here and bringing the balance of both like and and teaching more about hair and that's why I feel called to share more about business and um, teach my secrets on how I've been six figures for uh, since day one of my salon 12 years ago uh, okay you guys said you're ready for the reading let's dive in here we go <laughs> my client no Brooke's like no don't I know, I know, I know. Are you a projector or a reflector? I don't do any of those things because I am a motherfucking badass and I don't need a course that it, or a quiz to tell me who I am. Um, just saying. First card for the week is Star Keeper. <laughs> this is a cool ass card, Star Keeper. It says Cosmic Ancestor. Seed the light by staying grounded. Okay, let's talk about it. All of you here are empaths. You're here for a reason, and most likely you pick up other people's like feelings and emotions and sensitivities. And this card is reminding you that to maintain your power, to maintain that cosmic connection, we have to be a conduit between the universal and cosmic divine energy. I'm about to get woo woo on you guys and the physical earth energy that we're here in our physical body, right? There's a there's a balance of both, right? And we can't just be all up in our head all the time um, or down in our emotions and super depressed. We've gotta find this even balance, and how do we do that? First, we've got to clear our physical energy. We've got to start moving again. We've gotta move our body. We can ground ourselves by going outside and with your shoes off and connecting to the earth, being surrounded in nature, taking a nice Epsom salt 
salt bath. Um, being in water, that always tends to clear the aura and um, ground the body. So another thing that you can do is use your visualization and activate in meditation this um, channel, this like flowing channel from cosmic energy pouring down through your crown chakra into all of your chakras and then out the root down your feet into the earth and making like this really powerful connection. I want you to just do that for a minute because if you look at this card, it literally is showing you <laughs> how to pull down that cosmic energy so that you have an abundant source to constantly give and create because that is why we're here. We're here to express ourselves and we are expressing, a, we are the divine expressing a unique version of itself if you, if you haven't if you haven't realized that one yet guys <laughs> so this is reminding you to stay grounded to pull down the energy and and open up your heart I know this sounds a little bit weird but if you're someone who is feeling a little lackluster or a little down and needs more inspiration more motivation more clarity more connection more love more energy this technique will help to start activating more of that whether you immediately notice it or you begin to to start recognizing, oh my gosh, things are shifting in my life because I'm making conscious choices and changes on the inside and shifting my energy. Um, what else? Okay, we've got two, we've got three more cards for the week. Let's keep going. Um, next card. How many of you guys need to like need to ground yourself? Let me just tune in real quick. Like, do a scan, top of the head to the tips of the toes. Like, are you holding tension, stress, tightness? Is there pain? If there is there shouldn't be and that's showing you that there's a problem and we need to bring focus and energy to it whether it be what we eat what we think how we move our body um, and the position that we sit in as well that also like cramps our spine and um, like closes our chest off and and cuts off the circuit of energy um, thank you for the reminder. Oh my God, today was so bad. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that but I'm excited that you are here. Um, okay, let's see, <laughs> you badass. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, okay, here's a quick story. You guys like hearing a little bit about my personal life. In 2010, I donated my eggs. I absolutely do not want children, never have, don't think I ever will, and I'm good with that. But I wanted to contribute to those that are um, interested in having children and that do want to and bring that to fruition. So I decided to spread my badass seeds um, and also help pay for my wedding so I could marry Chris. And um, I was chosen by a, a, a person and we had to go through the 600 question personality test. We had to, I had to meet with a psychiatrist. I had to do all these different things to make sure that my eggs were legit and that they were worth paying for. And when I met with the psychiatrist, she asked me, um, she, she started out with this one and she knew she was in for it after question number one. She said, describe yourself in one word. I said, amazing <laughs> and she said humble uh, I said or no she said modest I said absolutely not so you just have to own it and again like if I'm going to be the teacher of self-love and confidence and empowerment like how the hell am I gonna teach that if I don't actually implement that in my life and it's taken decades to overcome my own self-doubt and hate and all the shitty negative labels that other people have given me that I allowed and so now I am shining bright AF and I hope that you guys do too okay let's keep going what is this card the golden children uh, let me show you hold on the golden children Totally new to me. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is the Star Seed um, Oracle, the new deck by Rebecca Campbell. Okay, inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. Okay, we've got to get sensitive with ourselves. We've got a full moon in, uh, in Cancer on Friday, so our emotions are being fully activated right now. And it's reminding you to get in touch with your family, with your inner child, with your emotions and your sensitivity, and also talking about like star seed. Like we chose to come here and you may be waking up and remembering like you're on a mission and your mission is to share your gifts. And what we're here to do is to bring more love, to bring more peace and harmony to the planet. And each of us have our own unique talents and skills on how we do that. So we can't look to other people and compare ourselves because that's not how this 
world works. And we've been shown by culture that uh, if we're not like this person, or if we don't look like the girl in the magazine, or if our body shape is in a certain way, then we're not it. And the truth is, if we're here, then we have it. And we've got to express it and share it and cultivate it and nurture it and um, learn to understand it. So really take time this year to ask yourself like, what do I love to do? What are my natural skills and talents? And how can I bring them all together so that I can be of service to the world, can, can contribute and share with ease? And in order to do that, we create, and when we do that, we create this effortless flow of abundance. And so many of us have not tapped into that. And so we don't even realize it's possible. But what I'm telling you today, I grew up in a trailer and we did not have money. I ate Totino's dollar pizzas, okay? Like, I didn't, I didn't come from uh, an abundance mindset. But what I can tell you today is that I have followed my passion and always allowed that curiosity to explore those different talents and skills and give myself permission to fail a lot and to try new things. And because of that, I've stepped into this position where I've gotten clarity on who I am, what I love to do, how I can help people. And when you put all of those together, you create this natural abundant cycle of, um, opportunities of new support and connections of, everlasting joy and growth. It's like continual growth. You're no longer stuck. So many people say I feel stuck or blocked. Um, and uh, abundance of physical money too. But you get to a point where you know that that's not it. It's not important, but money does move your message. And so I feel like I need to be really clear and share more about um, all of the workings of not just like learning to love ourselves, but once we love ourselves, we have so much to give. And this is the position I'm in. We have so much energy and joy and love and abundance um, to give to other people that we end up going into some kind of service based business. And so this, I feel like this would be the, the completion of the entire journey in the cycle of learning to love yourself yourself, when you reclaim your power, when you no longer have fears and doubts about yourself, you have no problem wanting to show up and shine and give those gifts and your skills and talents and to make other people feel loved and supported. And I feel like so many people are stepping into that role this year because they've been doing the self-care work and the self-discovery work. Um, so be easy on yourself. This journey is uh, is a rough one, okay? But once you um, face all of your darkness and your truth, then you uh, will no longer have to put your walls up and you don't have to uh, be afraid of being vulnerable anymore. You can be vulnerable and uh, realize that that is strength. Whew, hey, Chris Carmichael. <laughs> Melissa says grounding is an issue for me. Wonderful visual pulling it in, but it starts fizzling by third, second, and root chakras. But I keep trying. Then keep trying because if it's fizzling, then there's something in there that is, you know, needs to be worked through. I find that anytime I do um, like my chakra meditation, if something's stuck, it makes me cry. It makes me feel weird. And I have to work through it by asking myself, what energy is stuck here? What emotion needs resolved? What belief needs healed? What action needs um, corrected? Uh, so if it's getting fizzled out, I would say keep pulling it, keep pulling it in because you need more of it. <laughs> Anne says it's two, two, two. How exciting! Okay, I've got two more cards. Let's do this. The first, and these came up together, so I'll just read them together. The first one is deep cellular healing. Interesting and earthed. Okay, come on, guys. Like we need to just like kick off our shoes and go outside and ground our cute little uh, selves because clearly this is a message for us to like get connected. We have to first get connected with ourselves and it's so hard to do when we're bombarded by Wi-Fi and technology and Instagram and ping, ding, notifications fucking everywhere and advertisements and pop-ups and oh my God, it's overwhelming. So what are you gonna do to take time to get in silence, to to recluse back into nature so that you can reconnect with your soul because that is where the wisdom and the clarity you seek is but it's so hard to hear our intuition when we're bombarded by all this noise so let's let's see what these cards say um, physical and emotional healing and learning how to be human in the world but not of it mm, so good so important to realize that this nothing lasts 
the great Terrence McKenna said nothing lasts. So, I mean, besides our spiritual energy, right? Uh, so nothing in the physical world is what he's talking about. So we have to recognize that this is a, a moment. This is a blip in time. And it's an opportunity for us to really regain, I keep hearing the word sovereignty, and understand that we are a very divine and magical creature but if we don't take the time to explore it and to move beyond the labels and the doubts that are stopping us from really recognizing our worth and our value um, then the the trip was wasted <laughs> is what I'm hearing um, so how are you guys feeling right now what are those um, what are those big goals that you're gonna go for in 2020 what is your soul calling you for what are you feeling like you need to um, focus more on is it physical uh, healing is it energetic healing is it emotional healing do you have um, traumas from the past that need to be released or are you at a point where you're like okay I've, I've done the healing um, and I need to get focused on what I want to do with my time because we have we're here we got to do something right and we want to do something that feels meaningful that is fun for us um, other healing I keep feel like inner child healing mm. healing with food too I think that a lot of people are you saw that the Grammys uh, went vegan hello like I think the world is waking up to this new lifestyle uh, well I say new um, I think we were designed perfectly uh, in the beginning <laughs> and something happened to fuck some shit up and um, we're going back to remembering who we are and how it used to be so that we can create like this harmonious experience um, but you'll see like more and more shifts towards compassion and you know with the fires in Australia right now you see so many people uh, bringing awareness and raising money and opening up their home and uh, and supporting animals in a beautiful way and so it just breaks my heart to to see parts of our planet suffering but i know that the suffering is waking us up and and getting us to realize what's important and what really matters and that is our connection with our people you know and that's exactly why i show up every week to connect to open your heart to remind you how badass you are and that you're here for a reason and that you're meant to shine so thank you so much for tuning in this week it's been really fun to show you guys the uh star seed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell with her nifty little triangle box and um, this message is a reminder to like own your power and protect your energy like if you're an empath like uh, Chris and I said this year we're gonna make a course called badass empath so that you can uh, equip yourself with the mindset shifts that you need to be able to handle how to say no and not feel guilty how to deal with people pleasing and how to protect your energy how to clear it because I had the problem of putting it on like weight because I didn't know what to do with it I didn't even realize the weight was other people's uh, physical weight too all right, any thoughts, questions, ideas, aha moments um, for this week? I would love to help guide you in any area before I hop off of here. And says, final emotional healing and release the past from my body so I can give back. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, when we take care of ourselves, when we do the work, um, we go into maintenance mode and it's so much easier to um, stay in balance with giving and receiving and um, sharing our gifts with the world. Hey, Griff. Um, yes, badass empathy. I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year, Elizabeth. Um, now is my time to focus on venture. I love it. Any um, thoughts, questions? I receive movement um, in all its form. Emotional healing Tony needs. Oh, so good, you guys. I am just so thrilled and so excited to be here to support you and to have um, the opportunity to step into this role. And I'm just so grateful for each of you and your support and your love. Thank you for being a part of the Shine Tribe Sisterhood. Thank you for all of your support for launching the Shine from the Inside Oracle. A uh, big special shout out to all my Shine Schoolers who are changing the freaking world. I mean, again, when you do you, when you are are confident when you're no longer wasting energy time 
uh, and anxiety and self-doubt, you are using your energy wisely to take action after your goals and dreams and making a fucking difference in the world. So I cannot wait to support you in 2020. Thank you so much for being a special part of this experience with me. If you know a soul sister who needs this kind of encouragement and support, invite them to the Shine Tribe Sisterhood. And I cannot wait to see you guys on Friday for the Elevated Life series where I team up with my husband, Chris, to teach you uh, mindset shifts to create radical transformation in your life. Thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you. And again, if you are local to Frisco, please join me for the Full Moon Goddess Gathering on Saturday at Carmen Grounds at 7 p.m. in Frisco, Texas. Uh, thank you so much. I needed to hear that this morning. Oh, yay. You must be in a different part of the world because it's 4.30 p.m. Um, so it sounds like you might be in maybe Australia this the morning. So I'm sending you lots of love and so much support. It, you know, I want everyone to, we're talking about grounding and healing ourselves. Like, let's take a moment to send a lot of healing and love and light to um, Australia and the other countries that are in distress because we need help, we need more love and more light and that is what we're here to do is shine our light um, in Australia. Sending so much love your way, um, oh, breaks my heart. Um, yay, so excited. Okay, I'm out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tag a soul sister below. I will see you guys on Friday. Peace.